Yo, guys, what is up? What is up? What is up? Your man Scott Lennox here. Thank you for tuning in to the channel here. We appreciate y'all very much. Fishing OC in the house. You can see I am by myself today. We're doing a little solo trip. Um, Kristen has been nice enough and gracious enough to let me head on out here and try and catch some of these tall tog and sheep's head that have been hanging around the South Jetty. We're going on a little trip here in a couple days and she's staying home and taking care of the business and I'm going out to do some fishing. So I got to produce, man. I told her I was going to, uh, to produce. I was going to make a video regardless. So I got to catch fish to make a video. If I don't catch fish and I don't make a video, you guys aren't going to see this anyway, but next time you do see me, I might have a black eye or something. Um, so, so the pressure's on. Wind's picked up a little bit this afternoon, so I don't think she would have wanted to be out here anyway, but the tide's right. I got some live sand fleas, um, and it's just been, it's been pretty good at that South Jetty. So, we're going solo. I got the GoPros. I got the chesty ready to go here in just a couple of minutes, so thanks for clicking in. If you haven't done it already, subscribe. Hit that notification bell down there. Drop any comments that you have down below. We try and answer every single question that we get and give us a thumbs up if you like the video. All right? All right, sheep's head, tall tog fishing on a jetty with some live sand fleas. Let's get it. All right, before I head over to the uh, jetty, I gotta get some fuel, man. Getting kind of low. I'm looking at a quarter tank or less. Uh, so I'm gonna go over here to one of my spots. Bam! Harbor Island Fuel Dock. OC Fuel 24-7. Bill and the ladies here do an awesome job. Stop in there and uh, get, some, get some gas, some petrol. And while you're here, you can get ice, sodas, uh, even snacks, all kinds of stuff. Alright man, all fueled up, all fueled up over there at the OC Fuel 24-7. Uh, make sure you give them a stop here, man. It's right in the middle of the bay. You can't miss it right at 14th Street at Harbor Island. Uh, as soon as I said Billy and the girls do a great job, we got Jacob up there helping out for the week. So, uh, thanks for your help, Jacob. Much appreciated. But, this wind, man, they said something like 5 to 10. I think this is more like 5 plus 10. So. Good news is it's blown out of the south, kind of, so I might be able to uh, sit on the inside of the jetty, try these tog and sheep said, see what's up. I got good bait, that's for sure. All right, let's get it. All right, looks like this tide's gonna be getting right here in just a little bit. Still incoming, still incoming pretty strong, but once it slows down, that's when they're gonna hopefully start biting a little bit. Um, we got some boats out here on the jetty already, so I'm gonna come up here and find a spot. And see what happens, man. Got live fleas. I'm gonna probably tuck in up here in front of this center console, get as close to the rocks as we can, and see what's up. Switch over to the old chesty here. Uh, put the trolling motor in and get going. Here we go. Always get your trolling motor set before you get into position, man. Don't go up in the rocks and then decide to put the thing down. Get it down and then move in there and then boop. All you gotta do is hit anchor and you're ready to go. All right, power this thing on. I'm on remote ready. I agree. All right, it's found the motor. Now we'll go up here and get close to the jetty and throw it on anchor lock, spot lock, we call it, and see what's up. All right, this looks like a good place to start. So let's hit the old anchor lock, let this thing get acquired. Spin me into position to see where I'm going to end up. Put 
the wind is definitely going to be favoring me. Definitely going to push me more than the uh, tide. So, there we go. All right, it looks like based on this wind, um, this wind and this current, trolling motor is going to keep me with my bow facing the jetty. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring all my stuff up here. I got all my supplies up here. Obviously a fishing rod. I got my bucket of bait. Beautiful looking live sand fleas in there. Beautiful sand fleas. I got my net just in case. I got my pliers and I got my D hooker. So all this stuff is in the front of the boat. If I hook a good sheep's head, I don't want to be having to run to the back of the boat to grab something because I lost a fish out here right in this spot about a week and a half ago fishing with my buddy Blake Gunther and that sucked. So I want to be prepared, have all my stuff up here in case I get a good one. All right, guys. So we've got two ways, two ways that I'm going to fish for these sheep's head, hopefully sheep's head, tall tog and stuff today. And they are both with spinning gear so I can cast it up into the rocks. I want to cast as far and close to the rocks as I can because as the tide starts to slow down, those sheep's head and tog are in that shallower water and they're up there just cruising around looking for bait. They're looking for crabs, uh, shellfish, sand fleas. They love sand fleas. They'll eat shrimp, that sort of thing. Um, but they're, they really like it when it slows down. Right now the tide's moving a little bit quick out here in the channel, but over against the rocks it's much, much slower. And as the tide slows down, probably going to see some more boats and that's when the fish start biting a little bit better. What I'm going to do until then is I'm going to use our double header high-low rig, man. It's a real simple rig. I got it. It's got 50 pound test on it. I got one Mustad J hook there. Come down a little bit later on, maybe a foot lower. Got another J hook there. And then I got a sinker loop here at the bottom. I'm going to put a two ounce sinker on that. Real simple how you do it. Just squeeze it down, goes through the eye of the sinker, and then loop it around the sinker. And that's it. It's ready to roll. And then I'm going to take that, and I got these live sand fleas. Woo. I got these beautiful little live sand fleas from All Tackle over there in West Ocean City. And there it is, man. Mole crab, sand flea, whatever you want to call it. You're going to go right through the bottom, right underneath through the digger, and put the point of the hook right up through that. And as small as these are, I'm going to put two or three on a hook. So there's one. Got a nice little morsel. There's two. I'll bait that other hook up, and then here we go. Second way that we can catch these fish is with a tog or bottom jig, all right? So Deadly Tackle, we make some really, really great tog and bottom jigs. You guys might have seen it recently on Hooked on OC. I was out here fishing with Blake Gunther, caught a couple of sheep's head, caught some tog, had some ugly oyster toads, but this is it, right? I'm going to use anything between a half ounce and one ounce. If I got to go much more than one ounce, I'm not going to try for the sheep's head, right? So. Nice little hook on there, three quarter ounce tall jig ready to go. I'm gonna chuck it right up in there in the rocks. Do just like you do with a regular hook rig. Take a couple of sand fleas and just put them right on the point of the hook. And these sand fleas are so small, I'm gonna put at least three on there. And then I'm gonna chuck that bad boy in the rocks and hope for a good one. So I throw them on the ground. Twice. If you look over there, there's rocks, man. These things are the exact same color. Green crabs look just like them. This is the green crab color. And these things are working like a charm. Lots of people are, are buying them and they're doing really, really well. Got a little orange on the bottom to replicate the crab guts, right? or the sponge sack. 
couple of uh, sand fleas on there. See what we can do, man. Tall dog. All right, we'll take a tall dog. We'll take a tall dog. Gotcha. Tall togus, Oneidas. Man, these are real easy to get off. Whoa, real easy to get off with a uh, with the D hooker. Put the D hooker on the jig. Point the jig down toward the ground. Little shake, pops right off. There we go. Nice little female tall. I don't think she's gonna make it, but we'll give her a quick check anyway. There you go. Tall Tolga Oneidas. Give her a look. Needs 16 inches. 16 inches and she is 15 inches. Here we go. Off to a good start though. Tog on the tog jig. Beautiful. It's a sand flea buffet. Tall Tolga. Another tall Toggy. Tall Tolgus Oneidas. Show you how easy it is with this D hooker, man. Like I said, take the D hooker, put it right on the shank of the hook, pull your line down toward the water so that the weight of the fish is pulling down, and then a couple of shakes. See ya. Yeah, buddy. So it sucks when you're getting a bite and a big boat goes by, that's for sure. Son of a... Got me. All right, so when you're fishing these jigs, you want to toss the bait up in there as close to you, as you can to the rocks. You want to get it up there as far as you can to the rocks. And then you want to just let it settle. And as it settles, you're going to reel your slack out of the line and then you're gonna stay as still as you can and wait for a bite. So, here we go, chuck it way up in there. Let it get down to the bottom. I can feel the bottom. And then I'm gonna reel my slack out of it. And then I'm just now waiting for that slightest nibble. All right, it's settled down now. You can feel it kind of moving around in the swell. And now, we just wait for a bite. for days togs for days all right at least i'm catching something female togs for days the ladies love me all right man i've tried green white and now let's try the orange baby no sheep's head yet but Tall tog are biting. A couple togs. I'm looking for that sheep's head, baby. The convict fish. Got another tog. Man, I'm the tall killer today, bro. Tall, tallest Oneidas. There they are, man. Nice fish, but I ain't looking for tall. Yeah, I am looking for tall. I'm looking for anything that bites. Sploosh. I'll take anything that bites, baby. Yeah. All right, man, that might be it for me. Might be it for me. Beautiful night here on the jetty, man, and we got way more to come. We got loads of nights like this to come, and the sheep's head and tall talk should be around for a while. Um, 
I had most of my luck on the jig tonight, so I'm gonna give it about maybe one more cast, but there she is, buddy. Deadly tackle. Tog bottom jig. There she is. Pick them up in all the stores in Ocean City. You get them online at deadly-tackle.com. Got a beautiful sunset over here on the west about to happen. Um, no sheep's head for me, but I did see my buddy Vince Canula catch at least one. I think he caught two maybe even. A um, couple of fish over there he caught on the tip of the jetty. I wasn't able to get on the outside like I wanted to because of this wind. It was too choppy over there, but some tall tog on the inside here, so a lot of fun. Got live sand fleas. I'll probably freeze what I got left, but no sheep's head for me. But there's always next time. There's always next time. And there's always next time for you, man. Thanks for clicking into the channel. We hope you guys are enjoying stuff. As we start to slow down here with the tournaments being over and everything, we'll uh, we'll be even doing, even doing more stuff. So make sure you like our uh, social media. Facebook, it's Fishing OC. Instagram, iFishingOC. Deadly-Tackle.com for all the tackle and stuff. FishingOC.com for the nightly fishing report. See you next vid. Thanks, hon. Love the chase and the hunt, and I set the pace when I'm running. I always take what I want, and I always give it 100. Don't need a bank, no, I'm funded. Play the game like it's nothing. I'm always thankful for something. Don't take for granted.